Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. So I saw a few of these videos floating around and I thought it was a really good idea. So today I'm going to share with you my favourite makeup of 2017. We're going into a new year now. 2017's been fabulous but 2018 is about to be... Everything? Hopefully it's going to be everything. And hopefully the makeup game is just as strong in 2018 as it was in 2017. Now some of these items were actually released in 2017. Some of them were released before that and I just used them for the first time this year. But I'm obsessed with all of them. I've used a lot of them on my face today. This isn't a tutorial, I'm not putting any makeup on for you. The idea of talking about these products in depth and telling you all about them and telling you the price and all that while putting it on was just going to get a bit mad. So I am here solely to talk about these products. If you like what's on my face right now and you would love a tutorial on a look like this, I'm living, you know, very Mitchell inspired. You should definitely check out Mitchell on Instagram. He is an amazing makeup artist. But yeah, I love it. So if you would like a tutorial, please just leave it in the comments section below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. I'm going to try and go in the order from which I do my makeup. So I start with brows. So the first product will be brows. I finish with lips. So the last product will be lips. Go in the right order, you know what I mean? Now these products, some are high end and some aren't. Sometimes I don't like to use the word affordable because what's affordable to me or to her or to him might not be affordable to him or her or him. So affordable is different in everyone's opinion, but some of these products, let's say, are definitely on the more affordable side of makeup. Now within all these products, there's a few drugstore brands, there's a few high end brands, but I actually surprised myself when I gathered them all because there's not that many super expensive products in here. Nothing's Dior, nothing's Givenchy, nothing's Chanel. And what's really cool as well is that there's actually a lot of UK based brands here. And this video is not sponsored, by the way, by any of the brands that I'm talking about at all. I'm just passionate. So let's just jump right into it and start with brows. My favourite brow product of the last year has got to be Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. On one end is the pencil, it's got a really, really fine tip, and on the other end is the spoolie. I love a good spoolie included with my brow pencils. It has to have one. I just love the way this applies. It goes on creamy, it's not too waxy. Don't get me wrong, I've used a lot of other brow products in the last year, but this is the one that I've constantly went back to. I love. So this is obviously the Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's £20 and you can get it from Boots or Cult Beauty or, you know, Debenhams or John Lewis. There are literally benefits everywhere. So just Google your nearest location. Next product is the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. This was introduced to me through P. Louise. If you don't follow P. Louise on Instagram, then you should definitely go and check her out. Paige was actually the one who introduced me to this product and I was very intrigued. Now, I used this product about three years ago when I first started doing makeup and I used it as a concealer, but there was just something about it. It was a little bit dry under the eye. And then I started noticing a lot of people on Instagram, including Paige from P. Louise and all the amazing makeup artists that she has, using this as an eye base. So carving out my brows with it and bringing it all the way down to the lashes, using it as your whole eye base. I started doing that and I absolutely loved it. I've been doing that literally Every time I've done my makeup this year, I've been using Select Cover Up as a base. It kind of sets itself, so you don't need to go in there with, you know, buckets of translucent powder to set your eye base, because this really does kind of set itself. So for an eyeshadow base, the best. So yeah, MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. This is £16, and obviously it is available from MAC, so you can get this online or nearest location to you. Now for eyeshadow, you'll have to forgive me because mine's is disgusting, but come on. Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Modern Renaissance came through for me. You know what, I think it was maybe released before 2017. However, this was the year that I bought it. I bought it round about January and I have used it all year. Almost every single time I've done my makeup, I've dipped into this palette for something. It's just beautiful. Mine's is a mess, but that's a good thing. You can tell it's been used. It was my first real high-end palette. I have a lot of MAC individual shadows and stuff when I was first starting out, but this was my first actual palette, and it was my first product by Anastasia that I bought, and I was very impressed. Everyone knows about this. You've probably saw it. If you're into YouTube, if you're into makeup, you've saw it. If somebody says to me, what palette should I buy my friend or my girlfriend or my daughter? I say Anastasia. It's just the easiest go-to. So yeah, this is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. What I will say though is it's quite a nightmare to get in the UK. You have to go obviously on Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty to get this. 
you can't walk into a store and buy this anywhere in the UK, but those two websites definitely have it. And this palette is £43 from both those websites. Okay, now this one I'm really excited for. These are the Peaches and Cream pigments. When I tell you I love a pigment, you just can't get the same look with a pressed eyeshadow as you can with a pigment, in my opinion. I absolutely love these. Peaches and Cream is a brand of cosmetics that are based down in Liverpool. If I'm correct, I think they actually have a salon where they do makeup and hair. I know they sell hair extensions and clip-ins and ponytails and all that, and they also have a wide range of makeup. Now, I don't know how they blew up, but in the UK makeup scene, Peaches and Cream have really taken off, and I'm not surprised. Now, these pigments are just beautiful, and I wish there was a clean way to show you what they look like. So this is probably the one I use most on clients. This is Gatsby. You can tell they're very thinly milled, and if I just go to swatch it, and obviously it's hard to see how pigmented, but... Oh. Now, there's no specific colour that I'm saying is the best. I'm just obsessed with all of them. This is one of my favourites, so I have this one on my eyes today. This one is called Mermaids. And you'll see this one looks white in the jar, but then when it's swatched, it has blue reflex glitter inside, like... So those are the Peaches and Cream pigments. You can buy them for £6.95. That's probably the best thing about Peaches and Cream, is that their stuff is so affordable. Again, sorry for saying affordable, but for a jar of pigment, £6, I mean, I'm okay with that. The pigments are £6.95 each, but if you go onto Peaches and Cream's website and you go to the pigment section, you won't have to pay that much unless you just want one. They have amazing deals on Peaches and Cream where you can pick three for 15 or you can pick and mix. Just go and check out their website. That's rude. Just go and check out their website and have a look. And I actually have that Mermaid shade on top of the liquid blue eyeliner that I have on today, which I'm now going to move on to. I also actually have these brushes by Peaches and Cream, which I am solely but surely obsessed with. I almost put, you know what, I'm just going to do it on the spot. I'm putting this one into this video. This one is the <laughs> Peaches and Cream PCO3 brush. It's kind of like an eyeshadow brush, but it's massive. It's perfect for highlighting, it's perfect for contouring, it's perfect for, well tell me what it's not perfect for. Like I am just obsessed. Bought two. I bought two, and I never buy two of the same brush. Just I just don't do it. Really good quality, no shedding. Didn't plan on putting these in the video because they're very much a recent purchase but I've not put them down since I bought them. Get into it. Next thing is something I have used. You know what? It's not something I use every time I do makeup but I was just really impressed by them and I'm sure nobody else will have these in the video but they have legit been some of my favourite things over the last year so let me grab. These are the NYX, what are they called again? The one thing I'm not okay with is the name. These are the NYX Glam Liner Aqua Luxe. Glam Liner Aqua Luxe. These are liquid liners for the eyes, or I mean the face, it's up to you. But they are basically metallic eyeliners. Now the difference between a metallic eyeliner and a glitter eyeliner, in my opinion, is you get more of a full coverage effect with a metallic. When these go in the eye, they are full coverage and they're just filled with shimmer, whereas glitter liners tend to have gaps in between the actual pieces of glitter. These are more of a liquid that look metallic. You can see with the swatches, they are, oh, they're just amazing. My personal favourite is probably this rose gold one. It is everything. But today I actually have on the blue. I have on the blue metallic eyeliner, which I put into a bit of a wing. And then I did dab some of that Mermaid's pigment by Peaches and Cream on top. Even without the pigment by Peaches and Cream, these liners really do hold up. And they're quite strong without any pigments on top. I know coloured eyeliners aren't something that everyone looks at and thinks, I can make that work. But trust me, you can, even if it's just a pop of colour, or if you do a normal brown smoky eye with a black eyeliner, you might want to take a rose gold or a silver and just do a little line on top of the black. It just adds a bit of dimension, and that's something I love doing on myself and clients, actually. I'm always like, can I add some blue? And where you can buy these liners are kind of a little bit confusing too, because I went into Superdrug and they were nowhere to be seen. Then I went into Boots and I couldn't find them either, but apparently Boots do carry these at their NYX section. So if they don't have them in your local Boots, maybe they're just out of stock. But if you do want these, you can get them on the NYX website or in your local Boots, or I think on the Boots website. And these are £6 each too. And to finish off the eye section of my favourite things of this year, it has got to be Eldora lashes. Now I've only been using these lashes for about two months but I am obsessed. They just look a lot different to every other lash that I've ever wore. I have tried out multiple styles. Um, I do love the M106 and I love stacking it with the H167. It sounds like science, but 
if you know, you know. But basically, all their lashes are just absolutely fantastic. I've not used a pair yet that I've been disappointed with, and they really do have a wide selection of stuff on their website. The lashes on the website range from about £5.50 all the way up to about £8.90, I believe. That's for multi-layered and real hair and for all the different categories. So go to their website, you can buy these on eldorashop.co.uk. Next up is things I use on my skin. Keep in mind, I've not got enough things to do a whole skin with. I mean, some things I've been using for years. For example, I still use my MAC Studio Fix powders. I've been using them for years. I wanted this video to be more things that I've discovered this year and things that have came out this year that I have really taken with me and I will be bringing all the way into 2018, probably 19 probably 20. So the next thing I have is this Illamasqua foundation. This is the Illamasqua skin base foundation. Again, I've only been using this on myself and on clients for about two months now. Now I'm really enjoying this. It's got the coverage you want. It's not too dewy, but it's not too matte either. It just sits nicely in the middle so you can easily not set it with powder or you can. Either way, it will still look good. A lot of foundations these days are either so matte that wow like if you're dry skin or if you want, like adding powder like it's just not going to happen or they're really really dewy to the point where if you have any oil it's not going to work for you it's just in the world we live in right now i think in the beauty world it's are you oily or are you dry these are both you know da, 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 da. ella mask just kind of sits in the middle of them both i feel like it works on every single skin type it comes in a plastic tube so that, I, I like plastic i can't deal with glass bottles i know it's bougie and stuff but when you're traveling around like no. The shade range is incredible. The only thing about Illamasqua though is that... Oh no. Okay, so in my local Debenhams, there used to be an Illamasqua. When I was in Australia, there was an Illamasqua counter as well in the Meyer. But I think Illamasqua pulled out of Meyer, and I also think there is no Illamasqua counter in my local Debenhams either. Just have a look at your local Debenhams, see if they have an Illamasqua store. But literally, you can buy Illamasqua on their website too. But if you do want to get a shade range, look for an Illamasqua store near you, either a standalone store, maybe down in London, or call your local Debenhams and see if they have one there. So yeah, Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. This this is £33 and you can get this from you can get this from Beauty Bay, Debenhams, Selfridges and obviously from the Illamasqua website. So yeah, have a look in your local area. Okay, now I'm going to go a bit crazy with the highlight. Now highlighting wasn't a trend of 2017, it was a trend of 2015, 16, 17. It's just never ending trend of glow and I'm not, you know, mad at it. I can sometimes have texturized skin so I can't go mad with highlighter like I wish I could. But this one, well, I'm about to feature it in this video. How you doing? I've actually got three highlighters. Now I know that's quite out there but I'm sure you all love the highlights. So I'm going to give you three highlighters that I really, really appreciated in 2017. The first one, Miss Fenty. I'm a rude boy, boy. Now as I've said before, I was working in Sephora when we launched Fenty and I really wanted nothing to do with it after the first few days of working there because the busyness, I mean, I'm not mad at Rihanna, I get that money. The store just got so busy that I think it put me off. Well, it didn't really put me off the parts because we got given some for free and I fell in love with this. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. This is in the shade Me Money Hustler Baby and I'm obsessed with this side. This side, I don't really know. This does nothing for me, but the reason it's still in this video is because this side is everything. It's a beautiful highlight with more of like an orangey pink undertone. I enjoyed this. This is on the more higher end side of things though, compared to the other two highlighters I have. This is a 26 pounds highlighter and you can get it from Harvey Nicks, which is nice. Next up is a product I've been using religiously since I bought it. I picked this up when I was in Australia. This is the Englot Sparkle Dust. This is another highlighter what makes it quite different from your usual is that it is a loose highlighter. Meaning, obviously, it resembles a loose powder. It's very, very intense. Very intense. So you use it very lightly. But it works best as, like, a highlight topper. So if you have... Obviously, I have some highlight on right now. I would just add a little... Actually... I'm going to add a little bit of this on top of my current highlight just to show you what I mean. Now, when you dip into it, it's very powdery and it's got a lot of glitter in it. So just be careful. So I've got some highlighter on just now. It's not this. Like, it is so intense. You really need to be quite careful. Oh, oh. Love. So yeah, if you have a local Inglot near you, pop in. By the way, it's £16. And you can buy it on inglotuk.com. Yeah. Inglotuk.com. Next up has got to be my favourite favourite. I couldn't leave one of those highlighters out of this video for sentimental reasons. I have loved them this year, but this has to be my favourite. This is another one that I've only discovered in the last few months, but I just feel like when you know, you know, and I know this is my favourite highlighter that I've ever tried. This is Doll Light by Doll Beauty. 
Doll Beauty is the brand, Doll Light is the range of highlighters, I believe. The shade I have is Like a Diamond, they only have two. Like a Diamond is the one for people that are like my shade or lighter, and Shine Bright is for more tan girls, or boys. But basically, this is just the best highlighter. It's hard for me to explain, I can swatch it all day and go, look how beautiful. But swatches, I mean, what are they really going to tell you? But this on the face, I love. It goes on thin, not chunky, but really blinding. I find that usually the more blinding highlighters, and if you really want a high, high shine, you're going to have to have some glitter in the highlighter. Quite chunky, but some, this is an exception to the rule. It's so blinding, it's so bright. I have it on right now underneath the Inglot. I've been using this on every client and myself. Another cool thing is that they are another UK based brand, which is so cool. I don't deliberately buy these things because they're UK based, but when they are UK based, I just think it's really quite cool. A really good thing for Doll Beauty too is that they've just started selling their lashes and their highlighters in Topshop. I think it's UK wide. I believe it may only be the big stores and I don't know if it's Topshop's website, but there's other places you can buy this. But go into your local Topshop and see if they have a little section with these there. They're honestly the best highlighter I have ever tried. So you can get these from Topshop in store, I believe. You can get them from Beauty Bay, but they're always sold out. Or you can, or you can try Doll Beauty's website. I think it's dollbeauty.co.uk. Give it a try. Amazing. Okay, the next one is my Ride or Die. Ride or Die of this year, and it is only this year that I bought it. I think I got it at the beginning. I think I got this around January or February when I was just starting at Sephora. Kat Von D come through with the shade and light. Kat Von D this year, she's helped me to highlight, she's helped me to bronze, and she's helped me to contour, and I just really appreciate her for that. Could talk about this all day. It's got a bronzer, it's got a contour, it's got a highlight. It's also got a contour for someone deeper than me, which is great because I'm a makeup artist. It's just everything. I love the formula of the powders. I think I've used this in every single YouTube video that I've made so far. I think I have. That just tells you. So yeah, Kat Von D Shade and Light, you have to get it. It's £37 and you can get this at Debenhams, I believe. Just Google it. But Debenhams definitely have Kat Von D. Next thing, another recent purchase that I'm very, very happy with. Keep in mind that I worked at Sephora and I tried a lot of liquid lipsticks. So there's not usually a brand that someone can tell me and I can say, oh, I've never tried. I mean, obviously there's a few, but Kat Von D, done. Tarte, done. Too Faced, done. Done, 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 done. And the only brand of liquid lipstick that ever worked on me, as in I could put it on and feel comfortable and go out and have a good night and not be aware that I'm constantly wearing a liquid lipstick and that my lips are cracking and just, that's, really getting rude now. Anyway, Liquid Lips drive me insane, generally. The only brand I can wear is Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star's Liquid Lips just sit on me. I wouldn't even actually say they feel dry. I would say they feel like they're on, but they don't feel dry. But recently I got the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks. I only got two shades. I got them from Beauty Bay. I had never tried this formula. I've heard a lot of good things and I understand why. I can wear this without a gloss and it's absolutely fine. It lasts a long time. It feels comfortable. You can reapply more on top and it doesn't get too crackly and disgusting. And they're only £11, which is a lot cheaper than Jeffrey. These are the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lips. You can get them from Beauty Bay and for mine I paid £11. Some are more expensive and some are cheaper. I think the ones that are collabs with, you know, Nikki Tutorials and all that, I think they cost a bit more. And then there's always some on sale. So have a check on Beauty Bay and get yourself an Ofra Liquid Lip and let me know. Was it dry? Speaking of gloss, I had to throw these into the mix. Now, again, only tried these for the first time a while back. These are the Kiko 3D Hydra Glosses. Now, obviously, love them because they look fabulous. There's a massive shade range. They feel comfortable and they're cheap. Dare I say cheap, but they're £5. You can use a £1 gloss if you want to, but it's probably going to be a bit rank. I have tons of shades in the salon, but in my hand here I have 18. I also have 19. I think I have 21. I just really enjoy them. I put them on everyone. Really good gloss, and a gloss just finishes a look. So that would be the final thing that I've loved of 2017. And that is it. So thank you very much for watching this, guys. I hope you got some information. One thing I do want to say is that this video is in no way sponsored by any of the companies that I'm mentioning. I mean, you must be joking. Sponsored. Now it's gonna come across like I'm trying to get you to buy these things, but this video ain't sponsored. Ain't nobody sponsoring me. Well, not yet anyway. None of these brands have told me to say anything nice about these things. These are my favorite things of the year. And there isn't even that many things in the list. So just when I tell you it's good, 
Just believe me. I hope you take a picture on your phone of some of these things and you're going to go into Super Drug or Boots or whatever and go a bit mad. I just want to say again that this... I'm getting so comfortable on this chair here. Do you know what? It's weird doing a video with no... I usually have a quite a high table in front of me with my mirror and makeup, but I just feel so comfortable without anything in front of me because my makeup was already done. So I'm just like chilling. It wasn't last minute. Notes. See how serious I'm taking this? Notes. And I keep looking, in, looking at myself instead of looking in at you. I hope that's not annoying. Another favourite thing of 2017. Myself. No, but seriously, I've been taking notes and everything. Like, I took this seriously today, so... Another favourite thing of 2017 has got to be this notebook. Get into it. Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? Isn't this life? So I may probably make another video before New Year, but I just want to say on this video specifically, have a happy New Year. I hope you all get drunk and have fun. If you don't know what to do with your makeup yet, if you have a party and you're like, what am I going to do with my makeup? Then go and watch my most recent video. I uploaded a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, so check that out. Take care of yourself, drink responsibly, have fun. If you liked what you saw, then please give me a thumbs up because the button is right there. And then underneath that button, there's a button that says subscribe. I'd absolutely love if you would subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but I would absolutely love that. That just means you get, I think you can get notifications when I post a video and it just helps me out. You're not really going to see a big massive change in your life, but I will. And of course, come on over to my social media. I would absolutely love that. I'm trying to get into Snapchat. So come and say hi on my Snapchat. Also, come over to Instagram. I post a lot of pictures of my clients over there. And I'm never off Instagram. So come and say hi. Happy New Year. Be nice to people. And stay snatched. Love you.